Okay, so if you've been on the internet recently, you've probably heard of ChatGPT. Now, it's come out of nowhere and it's completely taken the internet by storm. Firstly, let's talk about what ChatGPT is. It's a powerful tool that uses artificial intelligence and machine learning models to generate natural sounding answers to the questions and instructions that you give it. Okay, ChatGPT may have generated that answer for me. ChatGPT unfortunately is not a search engine and while some may argue that it does lift a lot of its knowledge and facts from Google, it does say it only has knowledge of the world from 2021 onwards. It can give you a straight, perfect, coherent, well-written answer, just like a real smart human would. However, unlike a real human, the grammar is absolutely perfect. ChatGPT also has the ability to go back and forth in between conversations, which is an absolute game changer. You can use this to write essays for you, which I would totally do if I was still at school. <laughs> Although I'm not endorsing you do that. I don't want you guys getting in trouble. Don't use ChatGPT for your homework, okay? Don't, don't do it. I personally use ChatGPT to generate video ideas, video titles. It's not going to be long before uh, I might not even be in a job anymore. It might just be AI controlling YouTube and making videos. I also talk to ChatGPT as well because, you know, I don't really have that many friends. Hey, that reminds me. Do you guys remember Cleverbot? I remember talking to that thing so much as a kid and the answers it gave were always so vague and really random. I remember just thinking to myself, AI's got such a long way to go before we're actually talking with real robots out there. However, ChatGPT is a step in the right direction. And although you can't have a proper coherent conversation with it, it doesn't have things like a opinions and stuff like that as well. But with things like ChatGPT, I don't think it's going to be very long before we're actually going to be talking with robots online. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at ChatGPT and we're going to be using it to optimize my low end PC to play Minecraft on. I do a lot of videos like this on my channel. So if you're new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys. So I've just installed a fresh copy of Windows 11. As you guys can see here, we're on my low end PC. PC, I've just switched over. So in this video, we're basically going to pretend that I'm a complete computer noob. And yeah, we're basically starting from scratch. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT says first of all. All right, so as you can see here, I've asked it, what is the first thing to do after installing Windows 11? Basically, it's telling me to check for updates on my computer, which is really good advice, actually. Like if I didn't install all the drivers and stuff for my computer, if I was just to install Minecraft right now, the performance would be pretty bad. So this is really good so far. All right, so what has seemed like forever we've finally done all of our Windows updates and got all of our drivers installed. As you can see in the tray here, we've got my Intel HD graphics driver. Now we're going to ask ChatGPT, which web browser does it recommend? And it said that there are many web browsers available for you to choose from and basically just listed them. Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge and Safari. We obviously can't get Safari on Windows. And yeah, it's pretty much like I said, it doesn't have opinions. It doesn't favor certain things over others, but it's quite nice how it's formatted it. It tells you some of the features as well which is quite good to see but yeah i guess it looks like we're going with google chrome then if that's the number one suggestion should probably ask it how i install a web browser go to the website of the web browser you want to install for example google.com chrome i feel like chat gpt has got biased against google chrome here click on the download button and yeah that's pretty pretty good instructions there right let's get switched back over i'm sure chat gpt is going to help out a lot of people with tech support in the future and here we go here is our new web browser all right so the next thing that i asked it was how do i optimize windows 11 for gaming this is what it said it said update your graphics drivers make sure you have the latest graphics drivers installed as they can improve performance and fix bugs very good close any unnecessary programs and services running in the background adjust your power settings set your power plan to high performance adjust your graphics settings use game modes use an ssd as possible and it even explains what they are which is really good use a game optimized router wow i've never heard of one of them before but that'd be quite cool to check out let me know if you want to see a video on a gaming optimized router but yeah let's do some of the stuff that it says so it says update your graphics drivers we've already done that close unnecessary programs and services that's a very good one so if we look in our task manager here as you can see we've got a lot of background processes this is one of the things that i don't like about windows it's just ridiculous if you guys want to check out a really well optimized version of windows then check out my last video on rev ios i'll leave a link to it on the top right as you can see, it says close unnecessary background programs and services, but obviously I'm a noob, so I don't know what they are. All right, let's skip that one. So it says adjust your power settings, set your power, power plan to high performance to ensure your system is running at maximum power when gaming. All right, we can do that. I mean, yeah, if you're a beginner, you'd probably ask it how you find those settings. And I'm sure it will tell you. 
but I know how to do it. All right, next up, it says try out game modes. So we're going to do that. We're going to turn off the game bar. I know it hasn't told us to do that, but that's not very good if you're on a low end PC. So yeah, we've got game mode on and obviously we don't have a gaming optimized router. Right, so I've just gone ahead and asked it, how do I close unnecessary programs and services? So let's see what it says. To close unnecessary programs, press Control or delete on your keyboards, go to task manager. So yeah, I mean, it's good, I suppose, but let's be honest here. If I closed out some of these processes and I restarted my computer, they'll probably come back. So for example, let's say we wanted to close out of Edge. We'd just right click on it, click on end task. Let's be honest, if we restart our computer, it's probably going to come back. Same with Microsoft Teams as well. No disable button, which is what it's telling me to look for. Maybe not the best advice there. What I would say is obviously de-bloat your system, go through and uninstall all unnecessary applications. Another thing I would say was look at your startup apps and disable all the unnecessary ones. But yeah, let's let the AI hasn't got that far just yet. It's fine. They're working on it. All right, so let's act like a real noob here and just be like, why is there so many apps installed on my Windows 11? And it basically explained it. Pre-installed apps. Some computers come with pre-installed apps by default from Microsoft. Automatic updates. Windows 11 includes a feature called Windows Update that installs new features and stuff on your operating system. And it also explains what bloatware is as well, which is really good. And it even tells you how to remove it, which is really good. And also a really good thing as well. It says, keep in mind that some apps may be necessary for your system to function properly. So be careful not to remove anything important. Really good advice. Let's go ahead and do that. Right. So let's take a look at our installed apps here. And wow, we've got not as many as I thought, to be honest. But yeah, let's go ahead and uninstall some here. Gone through and I've uninstalled all of our apps here. As you can see, our start menus look so much better now. And if we go into all apps here, as you can see, there's not many anymore in the list. And yeah, I only kept the ones that it didn't let me uninstall, which is a little bit annoying. But yeah, it's much better than it was. I've also gone ahead and messed around with my Intel graphics properties as well. I've set that to performance over quality, which is another thing that it said that I forgot to do. And yeah, it's starting to feel a lot snappier. Now, since this is a Minecraft focused video, we're not going to go too into detail about debloating windows and all of that kind of thing. So yeah, we're just going to have to leave it there for now. But if you guys want to see a full video where I use ChatGPT to optimize Windows and make it really good for performance, then definitely let me know in the comments down below. Right, so I've installed Minecraft. I didn't need the AI to tell me how to do that. I already know how to do that. And yeah, we're on an older version because the latest version actually crashes for me, which is something that AI could probably help us with to resolve. And yeah, let's just go ahead and create a new world here. As you can see here, we're getting about 60 FPS, which is pretty good. It's pretty much just like what I got in my last video. In fact, we're actually getting quite good FPS here. So yeah, you know, it's playable, but say if we wanted more, what would ChatGPT tell us to do? All right, so we've got our response here. So as always, it's always telling us, update your graphics drivers, which we've done. Now, adjust your graphics settings in Minecraft. Try lowering the graphics quality, such as the render distance and graphics quality. This can help increase your FPS if your system is struggling to keep up with the demands of the game. Close unnecessary programs. It's told us a million times to do that as well. Allocate more RAM to Minecraft. That's a very interesting one. Yeah, we'll definitely try that. I haven't actually done that in a while. I've just been leaving it on the default on this system and <laughs> use a gaming optimized router. Wow, they're really trying to get me to get a gaming optimized router here. All right, okay, let's try out these Minecraft settings that it suggested to try. All right, so it's saying turn down render distance. So we'll go ahead and do that. Put the graphics on fast, smooth lighting off. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do really on vanilla. It didn't tell us to install Optifine or use a client or anything like that. I don't think it's that advanced just yet. But yeah, just doing that alone has actually got us more FPS. As you can see, we've gone from 60 to about 100, just over 100. So that's pretty good going. Now let's try and allocate more RAM to Minecraft. Right, so if we go into our installations and then just go to edit here and it actually tells you where to do it. It literally just tells you to go to more options and then go here. As you can see by default, we've got two gigabytes allocated. So let's make that four, four Gs. And uh, yeah, let's try that. All right, so our game launched really quick there. So let's try and see if it's made any difference to our FPS here. And <laughs> our FPS has actually gone down, but I don't know why that is. Before we were getting like just over 100 and now we're only getting about 80. Okay, AI, you know, like I'm following everything you're telling me here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so maybe once the world's loaded in a bit. Now, let's say I know a little bit about Minecraft. I know what clients are and I want to know which is the best one. Let's ask ChatGPT if it knows the best one. 
If it says not for a client, I'm just going to be so happy. Right, so it says Minecraft PvP Client is a modified version of Minecraft for the game. Some popular Minecraft PvP clients include Luna Client, Bad Lion Client, okay. Optifine, not really a client, but yeah, good for FPS. I'm glad it suggested that. Fabric, and that's it. One day, one day will be the most popular Minecraft client. Trust me. Like I said, it's not biased. It doesn't have an opinion. It's just giving us all the options and allowing us to choose. But we're going to go with the first one and we're going to go with Lunar Client. Right, let's go ahead and get Lunar Client and do some PvP. Right, so we've got Lunar Client installed, as you can see here. So yeah, we're getting pretty good FPS here. We're getting about 120 FPS, which is much more than what we got with just vanilla. So yeah, let's say I want to find the best settings possible for Lunar Client to get the most FPS. Let's see what ChatGPT says to that. Right, so we've got our answer through. It says, adjust your graphics settings in the Lunar Client options menu. Try lowering your graphics quality. So we've done that already. Settings have saved. Interesting next one, enable fast render. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it also interestingly says, Enable VSync. Normally I disable VSync to see how much FPS I can get. And it also says adjust the particle settings in Lunar Client. So I'll probably do that as well. And then just the standard close unnecessary programs, which it's told us about a million times to do in this video. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that and uh, see what our performance is like. So it's telling us to enable fast render, which I believe is in the performance tab here. Yep, as you can see here, we'll enable that. So yeah, particles, we can probably just turn them all off. So yeah, that was about it. It did say use VSync, but we're going to skip that. And obviously programs in the background will skip as well. So yeah, now that we've done that, we are now getting just under 200 FPS, which is pretty good going. I mean, pretty good performance here. Let's go ahead and go on multiplayer, do some PvP. And yeah, talk a little bit more about ChatGPT and how I'm excited for the future. But yeah, we're in a duel right here. The FPS is good. We're getting a good 250 FPS. But yeah, I'm really excited for the future of AI. I think ChatGPT is barely touching the surface of what's possible right now. And I'll be really excited to see what we're going to see in the future. I know in like customer support and that kind of thing, chatbots have been a thing for a while. They just recognize like certain phrases and text and stuff and just refers them to specialist help. But I think chatbots like ChatGPT could probably do a lot of tech support for you. I mean, it's managed to optimize my computer right here and it's running pretty well so uh, i'm pretty impressed to be honest with you about the future of ai and that kind of thing it's scary but it's also cool if you know what i mean and there's also stuff that does art for you as well ai art i might look at that in a video in the future i was going to try and like ai generate myself for the intro of this video but yeah we didn't get that far but yeah like i said maybe in the future ai might just replace youtubers <laughs> you know the content will just become automatically generated and uh yeah i'll be out of a job so uh just like and subscribe to uh help keep me going because the AI takeover is coming. I'm warning you guys now. Let me know in the future if you want to see some more chat GPT videos on my channel. Hope you guys all have a great Christmas. I've got my Christmas jumper on, my Christmas tree up. Christmas will be tomorrow by the time this video goes out. So I hope you guys have a good Christmas if you guys celebrate it out there. Thank you guys all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.